everyone, I have a really great video for you. If you're just starting out, I'm going to show you a great trick to get multiple colors out of just a few. So I've just picked out some of my colors that I have on hand. So these are the pretty standard colors. I have a peach, leaf green, sky blue, violet, and then I have a black and my ivory. Most of them are Chef Master, um, which I've really taken a liking to lately. And the ivory, I don't have that color in Chef Master, so I'm using my Americolor. And you don't need to worry about mixing brands. It's totally okay. I do it all the time. So whatever you have on hand is, is perfect. Don't worry about it. And I just want to show you the different types of shades and colors that you can get just by having the basic colors, just with using the black and ivory trick. I didn't know this when I first started doing cookies and it's a huge game changer when you need to match shades. It uh, gives you a whole array of new colors to use. Muted colors are really in style right now. So this is an amazing way to, you know, get those colors without having to buy individual colors that you might not use all the time. So we're going to start with this Georgia peach color. And I really love this color. It's beautiful as is on its own. And so what I'm going to do is mix it up here about a few drops. I always start with less than I think or about what I need. You don't want to oversaturate first. So once you've mixed colors a lot, you will find that you kind of know how much you need for the amount of icing. I have about a cup of icing or so in this bowl. So I started out with three drops so you can see it's taking the color pretty well. And then you can always add more color. It's much easier to add color than to add more icing. So I'm just making sure that everything's mixed in here. And I want to show you guys what the original color looks like. And then we're going to add our ivory to it. And then we're going to add our black to it and see what the different colors come up. I think you'll be really surprised about this one. So I'm just going to take a scoop of my original color here and put it down for you so that we have something to compare it to. So now going back to, I'm going to take a little bit out of my original color and I've just added ivory. Ivory is an amazing color to have on hand. It is so good at muting colors and changing them a little bit. It looks scary when you first put it in with your color because it looks really dark, but once you mix it in, um, it doesn't change it too much, just enough to give it a softer color. It's great to use. Um, I've used it so much in my sets lately. It just changes the color and makes it look like something that I concoction put a bunch of different colors and really all it is is a few drops of ivory. So now I'm going to just take some here and I'm going to swipe it right beside my original color just to see and as it dries you'll notice a bigger difference in the color so it's a like a softer kind of muted color so I'm going to take my original color again and we're going to add black to this and I think you'll be surprised at how this turns out at first again you look a little scary you know if you added too much by accident sometimes you're you know squeeze a little too hard you can always add a little bit more icing to it or add you know the original color back but you can see how it's turning into this beautiful like plum purple. And you know, who would have thought with some black in there that would look like this. So surprisingly, you know, black most people have on hand, it really changes colors, you know, especially like colors like this, it takes it to a whole new color. And so again, I'll just swipe a little bit here. So we see the contrast from the original color a little bit of ivory and a little bit of black. Like what a beautiful color palette. And all I used was really just a couple of colors or a few colors. So let's start um, another color here. So I'm just gonna pour some of my white icing here. If you need a recipe, I have a recipe on my channel and walk you through it. Um, so I'm gonna use my Chef Master Leaf Green and just a few drops. And again, if you want it stronger, um, not so strong, this works too. It doesn't have to be, you know, super strong. If you just add one or two drops, you make a really light green and then you add your ivory or your black, you can get a bunch of different shades out of it as well. I'm going for a little bit of a stronger color just so that we can really see the difference when we add the ivory and black. Okay, so I'm gonna swipe a little bit of this leaf green, the original color, so we have something to compare it to. 
and I'm going to take a little bit out of my original bowl here, add a drop of ivory, and I always, like I said, start lighter. And always scary when I drop it in, I was like, oh, you know, it's too much. But you mix it in, you keep going, and you see it disappears, and it's not as dark as you think. The first time I ever used ivory, I freaked out and thought I ruined my color, but no, it works out. <laughs> And I'm just going to add a little bit more as well. Um, I just want you guys to see the, a good difference in the color. So again, if you want to mute it just a little bit, a tiny drop is fine. If you want to mute it a lot and make it kind of a softer sort of, um, I kind of say like a murkier color, but it's a pretty murky color, if you know what I mean. Um, you want to add a little bit more. So it's in your control at the end of the day. But you can play around with it and have fun. If you ever have leftover colors, it's a fun way to make new colors and, and experiment. And then we're going to swipe it here next to it so you can see there's a little bit of a difference. It's a really pretty green. They both are. And now we're going to add some black. This is to the original leaf green. So there's no ivory in this. We're just adding black. But you could as well add ivory and black if you'd like and see what kind of color you get. And this to me is turning more into like a forest green. So I have forest green, the actual color as well. And I always find it it's too dark. So I usually lose leaf green, but leaf green is too bright. So I usually mix the two together. So this is good to know, you know, a little bit of black or a little bit of ivory gives us a nice in-between color. And here let's do the final swipe with leaf green and a little bit of black and you can see the color difference there. Now let's use some sky blue. I love this blue. It's um these colors all came from like a 12 pack so I didn't have to buy them separately um, and they're pretty standard colors like when you go to buy the packs you know they these are the standard kind of colors that come so there's a lot of options that you can do with them. I like this blue it's a nice light blue um, you can also add, you know, more to make it stronger, but it's a really pretty soft blue on its own. So I'm going to swipe a little bit of the original color here, just so we have the comparison. And let's go ahead and add our ivory color. And I really, really love the color that came from this. It is so beautiful. This is such a pretty combination and you know, it's, it's such a great color. Look at that. Giving it a swipe and it looks amazing. You know, that those, both the blues are beautiful. And okay, let's add a little bit of black to see what we get from our original sky blue. And like I said, if you add too much black, um, it is a strong color. So if you don't have a lot of icing here, I don't have very much. So if it is too dark for you or you squeeze a little bit hard and a few more drops come out than you wanted to, you can always add more of the uh, sky blue that you had already. Or if you don't have any more of that color, you can lighten it up by adding some more white icing to it. And you can always play around at this point. You can add a few more drops of sky blue. Um, or black but like I said if you're getting it too of a intense color and you, you want to go lighter then just add some of your fresh white icing and that should take care of it and always remember as colors dry or they sit they will deepen a little bit a tiny bit and there we go with the sky blue and black and look how amazing that looks those blues are beautiful what a I love the color palette. And violet, this is such a pretty purple. Sometimes it's so hard to find a good purple. I'm going to add five drops here because I just want a nice bright purple. I struggled for so long to uh, to find a good purple that that wasn't too sort of red or fuchsia looking or um, pink, I guess, like a true purple. This one's a great one. 
and Regal Purple from Americolor is a very similar purple to this as well. So I always make sure I have those ones on hand. Purple is a really difficult color in the sense that whenever I mixed, um, when I first started out, I didn't have a lot of colors. So I just bought the basics and then thought, you know, I could just mix any color to get what I want. So I would mix some red and blue thinking I would get a nice purple and it always kind of had a brownish tinge to it. And then uh, I learned later on that blue and pink mix a little bit better than blue and, per and red, but it never gave me a nice purple, like the shade I was looking for. So this is a beautiful one. So we have our little swipe here of our original purple. And then let's add a little bit of ivory to see what we get. And I love how we just see the shade changing right in front of our eyes. And you can almost see on my spatula at the top there, we still have a little bit of the original purple. And at first it kind of, I looked at it and I was like, mm, this is not the nicest shade, but the more I looked at it on its own without the original purple, the more I really, really liked it. So let's swipe it here next to the original color. So this is what the ivory mixed in. It's a nice soft purple. And I'm just gonna stick a drop of black. So this is in our original color. There's no ivory in this one. I just mixed all the blacks on um, with the original colors and then ivory with the original. I didn't mix the black and ivory icing at all. Just to see what we get here. And it's coming together with a nice deep purple. And again, it might not look like the nicest color right away because you still have that older original purple on the rim there of my bowl. But when you look at it by itself, it is a really beautiful color. These are very simple little tricks that you learn and that really, really give you a whole new palette with all your colors. So you can only have a few colors and if you have some black and ivory, you know, the options are endless. I used only four colors here to show you, but you can do this with red, with yellow, with orange, with whatever you'd like. And so, you know, don't be afraid to experiment and even mix other colors together. I hope this helps and, you know, you get a lot more use out of your colors and expand your color palette and try some new things. And I'd love to see the cookies you make. And if you use any of these colors, tag me on Instagram or on Facebook and hope to see you in the next video. Happy baking.